Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those who are pursuing um, Comtia certifications, one of the uh, suggested tool that you can use to boost up your uh, learning experience is to use the Cert Master Labs or Comtia Labs. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I, I would say that the uh, Comtia Labs is one of the most commonly um, utilized uh, study tools from Comtia and for many different, you know, certifications. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how to uh, proceed with the, uh, using these labs. Okay, first you will need to register the training key of course uh, this is not free so you have to buy the access from your authorized training uh, center or partner then uh, once you uh, purchase the uh, what do you call this the uh, lab access then you'll get uh, a specific uh, training key so uh, so just put uh, something yeah let's say one two three four five yeah I don't have the actual code yeah and then uh, you click register and this is where you need to put your name your address uh, your username password in the time zone right so once you're done with this then you can just click save and then click the login on the upper right side of your screen and then you'll be prompted to this um, or you will be um, brought to this uh, <clears throat> uh, sign in uh, page where you can sign in so just click sign in and then uh, I'll be using mine yeah I have several here yeah and my password is already safe so I don't have to type yeah so I'm actually using a uh, last pass to you know store all of my passwords okay so click sign in Okay, it says that I've already logged in so of course if you have this kind of uh, error uh, then you have just you just need to click the sign out and then let's try again and that's it so uh, first of all check the course assignments uh, by default here I have two I've got like Comtia Lab for Pentest Plus PT 0 001, and I also have Comtia Lab for Cybersecurity Analyst CS 0 002. Okay. So if you want to proceed with uh, one of the labs or one of the course, you just click, let's say, here Pentest Plus. And before you, uh, you do anything, you can just click start just to learn about how to use the lab yeah so you can click start to learn about the lab start course okay maximize the window and you have to wait for a while by the way uh, the lab is actually utilizing uh, Microsoft Hyper V so it, it, it uh, requires uh, you to wait until the environment is being built. Okay, so it's uh, starting the uh, virtual machine and so on and so forth. Yeah. Not too long, maybe about uh, one hour, uh, one minute to perhaps two minutes max. We're done yeah the lab is ready so let's uh, have a look at the lab environment so on the left pane you have the uh, server 01 here this is your virtual machine and on the right pane you have the um, 
so called the instructions and information about how to use the lab so we have uh, instruction we have resources we have help okay so the instruction here actually shows you about how to explore the uh, lab environment with the scenario yeah and if you want to switch from one resource to another resource like for example here i have server 01 and server 02 and also kali 1 yeah, kali 01 so if you want to switch from server 01 to server 02 or even to let's say kali you just need to click the server and uh automatically uh, the right pane will adjust uh, the display based on uh, the selected resource yeah okay so just follow the instruction yeah so here read the scenario uh this is actually just about familiarizing yourself with the systems okay so using the lab interface uh, in the pane uh click the resource tab heading okay resource tab uh click the instruction tab okay so we know that one okay we are done just don't forget to tick this one once you're done with your uh, exploration okay and go back to the instruction notice each of these tasks has checkbox so you have to check uh, tick on the uh, checkbox okay now when once you take uh, let's say task number one and task number two you'll see the progress bar uh, below yeah click help yeah and looking at the page containing vm so uh, if you're using windows computer to, uh, to access the lab press the start key of your keyboard yeah yeah so let's try to log uh, log on to this uh, machine yeah so to log on all, uh, you can do uh, first you can actually select the resource so for example i will select server 01 and just click uh, this control alternate uh, delete this will actually send the control alternate delete and it allows you to log in now for the password the password is already stated here and user username is also stated here so you need to you don't need to enter the username yeah you just need to enter password p a 22 w0 rd yeah and press enter Okay. Now you can also um, yeah. So server manager has been started. So if let's say in case you want to uh, log up from the system, just click start and then click the power button and click restart or shut down. Okay. But in case you want to just log off, just right click shut down and then select sign up right okay now the second technique to or the second method to uh log on to your system is just by pressing this um uh, so-called thunder button thunder button uh then click this one this is actually the commands click and then you can select control alternate delete to send control alternate delete to your uh virtual machine okay the same thing yeah all right so enter the password okay this will retain your <clears throat> uh session yeah you may close it yeah yeah click this one yeah let's say you're done with this you're done with uh, task number six we're done with task number seven eight and nine okay okay you can select uh next to continue yeah you can explore server one server two you can also click on the server names to switch to uh, the second server yeah okay server one we're done okay go to server one and then select server one click control alternate delete we're done with that um yeah so i think we're done with this one and you can go to server two yeah also the same thing um you can even click this one to enter the password so for example here select control alternate delete and then 
yeah click this one the t sign here to copy the password this will automatically type the password so you don't have to type it uh, manually press enter and click next for managing uh, removal of media yeah. so the lab user interface can load proper disk or uh, DVD ISO so on server server 01 VM select disk yeah so you can just select this link which is this one and then it will automatically load the CD as you can see the DVD there yeah and you can select open folder or run setup or something like that yeah just open folder and you'll see the uh, the content of the CD okay this one is done open file explorer we have this one yeah this is file explorer yeah now for next step is working uh working at the windows command yeah you can click start select command from admin uh, click start you can type command for example yeah and then if you want to run the command uh, as admin you can just right click and then select run as administrator or run as a different user so for example i'll just click open yeah and you can type ip configs for example yeah okay we're done yeah that exit to close Uh, you can also as i already mentioned earlier you can also right click and select um, shutdown or sign out so let's say sign out okay all right so next we explore kali select kali <coughs> yeah we're done yeah, so click and drag private screen up to display and login prompt. So you can also uh, just press enter in Kali. And then uh, also you can select uh, control alternate delete. Yeah, same thing. And normally you will need to enter root the password PA22W0RD. Okay. Done. And take a few moments to familiarize yourself with the desktop. Yeah. So, for example, you can just scroll the screen. Click start. Uh, sorry, click the power button here. You can also look at the uh, status of your wired, conne uh, wired connection. Wired connected. You can also click this one to uh, power off or to restart. Of course, you can use, uh, you can always use the command, uh, command uh, or terminal to type the command. Okay, like for example, you can type uh, I have config, and if you want to restart, you can just type uh, reboot. Okay, or you can just type halt to shut down Windows, uh, this uh, Kali Linux, right? Okay, I think we're done with this. Uh, you can also type IP, same thing. Yeah. IP add is the same as typing I have config. I'm used to I I have config. <laughs> okay, we're done with this and end lab. Yep. Okay, now to end lab, you can just click this one and then select end. Okay. Now you can also have, uh, I mean, you also have the uh, option to split windows in case you do not want to work in two different panes, right? Okay, just click split windows. So they will, this will give you uh, a separate windows for you to explore the, uh, you know, virtual machine like here. And you can also look at your uh, instruction. Yeah. So you can bring this anywhere in this in the screen. Yeah. 
some people like to use this yeah okay so once you're done with your lab you can just click end yeah and close it and select yes and my lab now okay just close the window you can leave oh something wrong let me just hmm. okay never mind we just leave yeah now uh you can scroll down to see the available uh lab exercises based on the table content here we have okay we're done with the exploding then we can go next to the uh, planning and scoping penetration tasks, conducting passive reconnaissance, performing non-technical tasks, conducting active reconnaissance, analyzing vulnerabilities, penetrating network, exploiting host-based vulnerabilities, testing application, completing post-exploit tasks, and analyzing reporting pan test results. So each of the lab um, has its own timing. So we have like, for example, planning and scoping penetration tests uh, is given about three hours yeah uh, conducted passive reconnaissance about two hours yeah and every time you do the lab it will um, you know provide you with the timing uh, the timer uh, and um, the timer will inform you whether you have uh, exceeded the uh, time uh, allocated like three hours if you haven't really finished your lab uh, within you know uh, three hours it will ask you to you know extend your lab uh, duration so that you can uh, complete the lab yeah so each of the completed lab will be ticked just like this one you see it's already tick yeah and let's just try one lab like uh, okay um conducting passive concepts of course you can you know select uh, the uh, or choose the lab based on your preference yeah uh, which lab you like you do it Okay, like for example here i i know about planning and scoping yeah provided that uh, or assuming that i've already done this or i know about this so you might want to skip the lab and then select this one conducting passive reconnaissance yeah click launch <clears throat> so yeah we have this one uh, let's uh, perhaps we need to and the lab so that we can have a complete uh, yep this is done yeah and yeah because it was actually marked as still running so we can go to the conductive uh, conducting passive reconnaissance yeah. maximize your window it's gonna take about one minute 20 seconds to build the lab environment <clears throat> so hang on for a while Uh, additional notes um, in order to run or do the lab in uh, using this um, CompTIA online lab environment you will need to have you know a pretty good uh, internet speed uh, it is recommended to use at least uh, 10 mbps or higher uh, otherwise you will experience a bit of lagging yeah so slow yeah so i've tried using you know less than 10 mbps and i experienced a bit of lagging but anyway um, this is a good a uh, good lab where you can find a lot of different uh lab exercises so here so uh let's look at instruction so we have about uh, four hours remaining yeah so uh start recon ng uh, just follow this one look at, uh, read the scenario look at the objective the objective is compare and contrast various use cases of tools and on linux yeah, we have to log in as root and the password given okay now you cannot copy copy paste the password yeah or click the T sign yeah or the T icon because in Linux you're working in Linux yeah 
but in Windows you can of course you know copy paste the password yeah, so we're in Kali and at a, uh, you need to uh, open up terminal so just click terminal and then enter the recon ng just press tap recon tap and tap yep to auto complete yeah so this is uh, uh recon ng yep we have the prom and the prom enter uh enter at domains yeah <clears throat> like domain TLD yeah so just uh, let's see um, hmm okay so maybe you'll just use the uh, add domain comptia.org done and enter show domains and verify the domain is listed and enter the show module done now search the domain for contact information enter use recon domain contacts and who is okay we have we're we're done with that and we need to enter show options And verify the only option you can set is you can set a source so this is actually source and then enter run yeah, I supposed to press enter first before I click on this one and let's go to task number six verify some contacts were found including contact names and email addresses and you can go to search an account for evidence of compromise so from here we need to um what's your fox icon let me see um so scroll down and yeah, this is the water fox it's a fork of uh water fox is a fork of firefox web browser that support legal legacy extension yeah then you type http oh https have been pawn dot com no sorry it's supposed to be have i been pawn https have i in pawn okay in a text box type one of the account you enumerated yeah so we have to minimize this So just copy this one of the email copy and paste this one remove the uh, other unnecessary uh, things or uh, character and click on yeah and we can see that uh, it 
comes with the result oh no pawn yeah pawn in four data breaches and found no pe uh, no paste yeah so something like that just to see if uh, your email has been used for or major breaches yeah i'm not sure uh, you have to check this one i'm not sure about this particular uh website whether it's true or not yeah by the way check i've also compared the result with let's say a bit defender uh somehow uh they match yeah so here we have several other uh labs yeah like i can go back to the um, recon ng yeah and then by typing let's say use recon profiles profiles and then profiler and enter set source yeah um normally we just need to set a source uh, with uh, i mean no cache sensitive uh, but uh, just follow the uh, instruction yeah so we normally use the um, uppercase letter yeah you put in the domain like uh, comte and enter run yeah um so set source comte um yeah we are done with the use recon set source comte we're done with this we're done with this Looks like it's not really uh, correct. Let's see. So let's try. Use recon profiler. Mm, show options set. Okay, set source to comte. And run. Yeah, that's the correct one. And then we can examine the uh, result. Okay, we still have a lot of uh, you know tasks to do. Yeah, so for the meantime, because this is just a demonstration on how to use the um, Comtia labs. Yeah, uh, we don't really uh, need to go through all of the labs. Yeah, so. Provided that uh, you have done the lab and several uh, several tasks, of course you can continue this. Uh, you know the remaining lab exercises for your next uh, what do you call this um, uh, for your next um, uh, assignment or uh, maybe you want to do it uh, during the uh, off peak period or during uh, uh, break or free time. Yeah. You can always go to this one and uh, select this uh, just like uh, you know stack uh, of uh, perhaps um, I would say the menu yeah the stackable menu here and then select save this will allow you to save the lab yeah and then you can now don't forget that your lab will be saved for seven days it will expire something something you can save up to two laps yeah save the lab close the window okay and notice the icon uh, stated that uh, this lab is, has been saved okay so that's about the comtia labs uh, of course you can go back to your training and to see some other lab that you want to do okay so depending on the uh, course assignments and the uh, lab access that you have purchased or bought then you will see the list of the course assignments here in this particular screen okay once you're done, don't forget to log out or sign out. Okay, that's all for today. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.